welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video all about perfumes that have a cocktail, alcoholic, um, kind of like a fruity drink type smell in them. It's um, an ingredient that you don't often realise that fragrances have in them, that sort of like having a pina colada or a margarita or something and it's not in a lot of perfumes but I'm going to take you through now in this video ones that do and I always think they're really good for holidays or summer if you just want that tropical vibe because like a cocktail that smell of alcohol or perhaps in the evening it just really fits in and that smell makes you remind you of those times. If you're new here, then welcome. We're all about perfumes here, as you might have guessed. So um, do check out all my hundreds of other videos. I have so many. And if you're regular and you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. I really appreciate it. As always, guys, I'll leave the links down below to where you can get these in the US and UK Europe. So the first one I'm going to start off with is from... Um, Salvatore Ferragamo and it's the Amo Ferragamo Flowerful. So this um, actually just arrived, I just ordered it, I've been wanting it for ages and I noticed it was on a good offer so I got it. Um, it has this kind of like 60s vibe and in the advertisement it was all very 60s and I just really loved it, very me. The main note in this one is Campari, as well as that it's got a vanilla and blackcurrant and rhubarb so it really just feels like a tropical mm, Campari cocktail. Just like having that really fresh cocktail on the beach. I love it. I think this is perfect for summer. Um, it's fruity without being too sweet. It's got vanilla in, but not that much. So it's like a cocktail with vanilla in, not like a heavy vanilla. It's just a perfect summer easygoing, fun-loving fragrance. It's an eau de toilette, so you can keep applying it through the day, and it's one of those that you can really just spray loads of and you just suddenly whisk away to a tropical location. It's very me. And I really like the bottle. It has this, like, pearlescentness to it. I don't know how well it will show up on camera, but I think it's quite cute. Yeah, it's just, I just really love this as, a, as an idea for, like, a really fun summer eau de toilette. And they're very affordable at full price anyway, but like I said, um, I see these discounted, so yeah, I'll leave the links, but really, definitely, for fun cocktail perfume, recommend this one. There's also the original version as well, which is a little bit heavier, a little bit stronger. That one has some rhubarb in, so it's just a little bit more f uh, heavier, I guess. Another like vanilla cocktail is Beyonce's Pulse. This has Caraco and vanilla. So this is a very much your, I think your um, porn star martini vanilla type smell. Mm, vanilla cocktail. So if you like those type of vanilla -y cocktails, then this is a way of getting it for an incredibly affordable price. This cost me £9. I know I'm always going on about it, but it's just such good value. And I think it's my favourite from Beyonce. It's just very fruity vanilla, summertime, nice. And for the price, like you don't feel guilty spraying as much as you want. The new one from Escada that's come out just now in 2020, Flor del Sol, is a sort of Mexico inspired perfume. So it has tequila in and grenadine and orange. And um, imagine, yeah, imagine an orange tequila cocktail. And then in the dry down, you get this Dahlia um, floral note in. But it just feels like, um, I've been to Mexico twice now and it does remind me of those like tequila shots, tequila cocktails, and then the smell of that tropical flower around you, that pretty floral dahlia. And I love the packaging and stuff, I just think this is fun. These are always fun, these Escada ones. So um, if you like your tequila smell, you like your orange, then this is a really fun summer option. For something a bit more like a sexy nighttime bar vibe, then Lost Cherry from Tom Ford has a sort of alcoholic and um, cherry liqueur sense to it. It's got almond in, so it's almost like an amaretto cherry situation. It's very heavy cherry, very deep, very sexy, sensual, like walking into a club in the where it's very dark and there are people all around having lots of cherry liqueur, I guess. Um, and it, yeah, it's really different like lots of cherry perfumes are very light like a cherry blossom or very fresh cherry whereas this is that really deep 
um, wintery cherry and I think this would be really good for night time. YSL's Black Opium Intense. This is the one that has this like bluey turquoisiness to it. So Black Opium of course is um, famous for its coffee note and again this has coffee in but what it also has is absinthe. So this is like a coffee martini, espresso martini with all this absinthe on the side as well and um, I personally hate absinthe and um, so I haven't purchased this one but if you like those type of smells like it feels like you're out in a bar you can smell absinthe you can smell espresso martini you know it's all that type of vibe so definitely like the party one from the black opium range for a very light note and um, then champagne was used in tommy girl endless red this was like a very light fresh champagne with some light in there as well so very that sparkling freshness of champagne um an unusual ingredient here similarly the heiress perfume from paris hilton her first one i don't seem to be able to find the Paris Hilton's around um, London but I do remember this coming out so long ago now. Again this has that champagne note in it but it's also very very sweet fruity peaches, passion fruit, you know very very young Paris, very um, sort of 21 having champagne and all these fruity girly smells as well. And another one that's really got that sparkling champagne vibe to it is 212 VIP Rose, or you might say it's like a rosé. This is like that sparkle of the champagne, um, but then the fruity notes come through and then there's a bit of like a floral underneath. Um, but this is quite different to the other 212s that are very sweet. This is more like that rosé sparkling rosé champagne. And Marc Jacobs Divine Decadence has champagne as, as well, but it's very vanilla-y champagne. It has a lightness and sparkly that the other normal decadence doesn't have because of that champagne but it's still got that intense vanilla and another flanker Gucci Premier Eau de Toilette um, has this really sparkling champagne note in it then you get all these white floral orange blossom type notes in there um, but this one is even the color of champagne you know this range always reminds me of champagne when I see them so this is probably one of the most famously known like champagne perfumes and then finishing off the champagne ones, then French Panache from Lacoste, believe it or not, is a black currant champagne. I really like this. I think it might be my favourite from Lacoste. Um, but then it has this powdery rose underneath. But you get this really sparkling smell here, and then this sweet black currant. I love black currant. And then it fades into this um, pretty powdery note. So not sporty at all. Not what you'd expect from Lacoste. Um, more like a high end. I guess this is when you've won Wimbledon and now you have the champagne. So Coca-Cola is used in a few perfumes, believe it or not. So if you like that smell, then check out Amora More Low from Cacharel. This is all about the Coca-Cola. It has a little bit of lemon in there. Do you remember when they had lemon Coke? I know that's still available in some countries, some areas. Um, but yeah, this is just like that everyday Coca-Cola smell, something a bit different. Then I brought a Pina Colada smell, Pina Colada. Then the Nina Ricci range, um, they did these gourmet and de Rishi, so like sweets of Rishi, and the Nina one here is Pina Colada smell. So, in my, you know, Pina Colada, of course, is like coconuts and pineapples and fruity, um, so very like a sweet cocktail. I personally can't drink Pina Colada because I feel sick, they're so creamy. Um, but this is nice with passion fruit, it's got some caramelly praline in, so it's really, really sickly sweet holiday pina colada smell so if you like that kind of thing then get this because it is discontinued so um be harder and harder to get your hands on and then for a lighter pina colada gucci's glorious mandarin had um orange with pina colada and um, so a bit more fresh away of getting the pina colada smell so guys, bit of a different video for you there. Let me know if you'd like any of these or do you have any others you wanna to add to the list? Let me know in the comments down below. I just think it's fun, you know, it's that time of year, like coming up to summertime where you want those like fruity cocktail vibes and having those alcoholic ingredients in just really remind you of like, I know you shouldn't associate drinking with holidays and stuff, but you know, there you go, you do, I do. <laughs> So thanks so much for watching as always guys, do check out all my other videos and subscribe if you haven't already, but that's it, so I will see you in the next video, bye!